Hi, this is Lost in Electronics. Uh, I got a new video today for you on how to be able to install, in case you uninstall your uh, Spectrum TV app and you need to reinstall it. Um, this is the, basically what's going to happen is uh, I got a link into the email. What you're going to do is normally you would contact your, uh, you would go contact Spectrum and request them to send you the email for the link here because uh, you'll actually will need the actual URL for it. Uh, so since I already got that, we're just going to go ahead and what you'll do is the first thing you're going to do here is you'll go in the link, you'll go into the email, you'll need to log into your Roku account. So you'll go to Roku.com and then what you're going to do here after signing into your account, which I have already done, we're going to go ahead and click on the link we got here gonna launch it and says hey look here here's your channel it does you the code here because you'll need that actual URL because it just by adding the code it's gonna say it's invalid here so it is important that we actually use the link that they use here you're gonna click on to uh, you're gonna click on to add channel and you'll see here it gives you the Roku requires all channels to be uh, here by the Roku in terms and conditions and your distribute illegal content. Roku does not, uh, t this is for testing and review and for, uh, for non-certified channels, which means, basically means is they did not there. We acknowledge that you are assessing non-certified uh, channels that may in include content that off, uh, is offensive or inappropriate for some audiences. A move over if a Roku determines that your channel violates any copyright or cont uh, contains any illegal content or otherwise violation of Roku's in terms and conditions, then Roku may remove this channel without prior notification, and your account may be blocked from a adding any other channels, uh, non-certified channels. So, basically, what it's telling you is that Roku does not certify this because they no longer have agreement with Spectrum. This is just so if you case you need to uh, get the channel, uh, if you need, if in case you uh, for, uh, somehow uninstall the channel. Um, and you need to reinstall it, this is what this purpose is there for. So what's going to happen, you'll go ahead and you'll see that OK button. And then if you want to add the channel, what you're going to do here, it'll say, hey, we see the Spectrum TV because it did use that link. And then you click on to the one that is going to be listed as, uh, yes, I would like to um, basically how to add, basically go to, yes, I'd like to add the channel. Then if you have the Roku, you just need to go to the settings, system, system update, check the setting and then your player if you have any player that will happen you will see that it'll come up on your Roku you will see the screen that will come up and you will see a uh, screen that will say Roku you select it just like anything else and then you'll have and then you'll just be able to just have a screen that's going to be very familiar to this here when you get to the Roku screen as soon as you go to Spectrum TV and you'll have all these options so for you'll just use your back button and You'll all be able and age six. So again, you'll be a good role model. So then again, this is options you have. You're on demand. Uh, so you do have the capabilities here of being able to hear. This is the Spectrum TV app. So again, those are things you can be able to do here if you want to be able to do it there. And it does have everything right there for you. So those are a couple of different information you do have the capability of if you're trying to uh, Basically, if you're trying to actually, this is just how to re basically how to reinstall. Just as some basic information, I thought it may be helpful for anybody because I didn't see any other content on how to on basically how to reinstall the Roku uh, app in case you for somehow want to uninstall it. Uh, for uh, somehow you would need any troubleshooted with uh, troubleshooting with trying how to fix it for the Roku or you realize oh I, I mistakenly went and remove it by mistake this is how the basically how this is going to work uh, if anybody that tries to install and uh, anybody that didn't have the app before January 15th will run into uh, problems because what's going to happen is going to say that they are 
not authorized to be able to view that content because of the fact even if you're scribed is going to give you an error code because the agreement is when when that ended this is so that only if it was somebody that has a spectrum t had the spectrum tv app on the roku they can really easily to reinstall it also under the show notes i will have the link here so all you'd have to do is just click on the link to be able to use this this is how again how to uh, add the Spectrum TV app to your Roku and in theory any other channel you want to you can also log into your device and if you it basically those are this is just a Roku channel I've had uh, this is just a login of views in the past so they've already had the Spectrum TV app that's why the link works for me but again you may see different information pin on if you uh, depend on if you ever had any Roku's link to your uh, to your Roku account or not and if you buy adding it, we'll add it to all the Roku's attached to that Roku account.